Hi, Fizia. How are Hi, you? Hi, Oksana. So, uh, we just meeting again and the topic would be... The topic today will be Dolores Cannon, which is a, a fantastic uh, a woman, a pioneer about past life regressions and she was a visionary, um, was a lady that, uh, 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 you know, she was beyond of uh, all, all the times. And I, especially in, in these days, I am uh, meeting, you know, with brackets through the, obviously, the web, a uh, lot of interesting people, okay, they're talking about this uh, consciousness that is opening because we are, you are right. opening every day more and more. There are two kinds of people, okay, that I feel personally is a minority, the one that they, they refuse to see that uh, we have a lot of changes, okay, and the other people that they are ready to know the truth, okay, the truth uh, about us, about this planet, about why uh, we are basically slaves from this uh, entity, because we are slaves from these entities for so, for centuries. And it's yes. time, yeah, it's time for us to say stop, because it's, uh, now it is escalating, escalating every day with the economy, with the energy, with the war, with uh, with the disease, okay, that they are uh, set up. But this is why today, thanks to you, Oksana, because you are wonderful. Uh, <laughs> you're going you, to, you too. <laughs> you are. And uh, you're going to connect with uh, the beautiful Dolores uh, Cannon, okay? And let's see. She said, I'm here, honey. Oh, <laughs> it was this kind of like voice, like a little bit like man sounding. She's just, um, she's, um, she's like a ball of energy, but she's changing her shape a little bit here and there. She's like, you know, when you see a molecule moving. Mm hmm. She asked, what questions do you want answered? I understand much better here without the body that was preventing me from understand much. I ask your questions. <laughs> she created oh. like a desk in front of me on a chair. Fantastic. And she, she shifted into her how she looked. <clears throat> Okay, do you yeah. want to ask uh, Oksana or or we ask, uh, you know, well, she's waiting for us to ask or she can have a chat or maybe she can talk. She showed me something. <clears throat> she showed me a room and then she brought a room divider. <clears throat> and one side of the room is white, another one is black. She says that's how you see reality. It's either good or bad. <laughs> and... Um, she says, and the connecting door is in between. So you see the, on one hand, you see the uh, consciousness growing. People are opening to new belief systems and to new ideas and to understanding more of the outside of the box. But on the other hand, there's still this agenda running and unfolding. Um, it's important to know both. Um, but, um, she says the thing is like, you cannot escape, but just like one tunnel, one tunnel, one room, you can, you can squeeze, switch rooms, but you would all, all always be part of the other room. Also of the other part of the room. <coughs> Sorry. And, um, so. I can tell you that I was on the very positive part of the room and she laughs like this. But because I believed everything was positive, the aliens were helping us and everything was... Um, she she puts pink glasses on herself. Mm -hmm. Like, like uh, walk on the beach. You know, the life is like that. Everything's done for you. But she says, a lot of times things are done for you, but then they want something back from you as a payoff. So be careful 
with what everybody does for you and how it's done. It has to be a quality. It has to be I share some of mine, you share some of yours type thing. She says because this algorithm is running through balance act. And <laughs> she's like showing me the acrobats. She says, see, if you lift your hand up when you do a handstand, you can fall. That's the thing. You know, if you are laughing too much and too positive, it's almost like the system hits your other hand and you fall. Um, she said, it's not, I'm not telling you not to laugh, but I'm telling you the agenda is unfolding and people are waking up thanks to agenda. Your physical reality will show you now, especially now, watch the physical reality. Don't just block the events happening in the world because they're supposed to show your eyes um, and send pictures to your brain processor uh, about some things you need to work on or people are working on. Mm -hmm. For instance, the uh, slave system in uh, from like Russia is showing to people, look, you, you get the little note and you have to go to war. And if you don't, you go to prison. You're a <laughs> slave. Everybody should understand more. Some countries are more slaves than others. Some people are more enslaved than others. So the system of the draconian system that um, some draconian system give you freedom because they believe uh, in watching the consciousness unfold and they believe that if a person is free that they can give, have more imagination coming, more ideas for them to use. That's why they're given freedom in the USA and other countries because they want your ideas, they want your freedom of flowing ideas. Some other countries are more enslaved because they're more aggressive. There are more aggressive genes in them, and you know that. Um, so they do gene manipulation. They make people uh, heartless, as mm -hmm. what we describe. I have a question. How long will be our, because we have, I mean, I believe that we are enslaved, okay? Uh, they are maybe less, they are less uh, bad or less cruel, but we are slaves. That's what I, I, I feel. There's not a brotherhood, a sisterhood. Uh, it's not a, a proper community where, where uh, people, they respect each other, they love each other, like they used, used to be in the beginning of the humanity in this earth. Apparently in At Atlantis, this is how it was, and then it was disturbed. This is what uh, people, many people in the uh, research, they say. But now I would like to ask, uh, to Dolores if this enslavery will going to finish and when? She said we're in the food chain locked algorithmic program. It's a software of this world where everybody fits off of each other or at least if they don't control that program they would. So everything is done for the reason of contributing a lot to your own self. And these algorithms have to fall apart for those who, are, who, are, who lived through them and understood. She says, much like children are so open, and she said, you know that, Oksana, um, based on your children, and they tell you what they see, aliens, but then they uh, reach certain age and they start questioning, are aliens really exist? Maybe when I was little, I was strange. Maybe I was imagining it. They and that that means they they enter they step into the algorithmic programs of this reality, and they have to kind of walk through each box. It's like a computer box. You walk through it. You see that okay. Well, everybody believes in this. You try to believe in this or make yourself force yourself to believe in that. Uh, but in that fact, but then if something inside, if if your parents taught you to listen inside and doesn't feel right, then you just abandon that box. You go through another one. That's how you accumulate experience of the AI generated programs like you, you are in that program. Technically, your soul 
your etheric body that you see is your real self. Your physical body is not your real self. It's just a box that your soul, it's like an imprint of your real energy body up there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say you're a clone of your own true self here on Earth. You can say that. Mm, what I understood that, yes, they're going to, all the agenda, you know, all this 51 points of agenda, Oksana, that you saw before two years ago, mm -hmm. those are going to come true. They, they're going to implement electronic money. They're going to destroy the banks. That just the, because AI has to grow too. It doesn't grow in consciousness, but it, it does grow in trying out new programs, in trying out new experiments on humanity. Um, so, and humanity is considered like a bunch of artificial selves. So if, if at some point you understand your artificial self and that's why you don't recognize yourself in the mirror and you, every time you look at yourself, you feel kind of funny. Well, that's the first step that you understand. Your body is just an imprint of something you drew in your mind of the energetic body projected down. So you just live through this. Because you will see the banks collapse. You will see more earthquakes like you know, Oksana. You will see more of those. You will see high winds, high waves, lots of water flushing the villages down. Volcanoes getting more active. Parts of land disappearing or, reconnect or unconnecting from the mainland. You will see that in the future because it's embedded into a program. You cannot change it. People believe when you focus your attention on the positive, you can undo it. You cannot undo it. I'm sorry, because you are in this connective uh, reality and all these dots are locked in and each dot has an algorithmic program. And you cannot just turn off the algorithmic program. I wish I knew how to do it because if you turned off one, you would automatically destroy all the rest. Just like the lights on the Christmas tree. One goes off, sometimes others do too. So what we're going to do, Oksana, to... I mean, I know there will be disasters because the planet... Uh, with a rotation, yeah, is about to finish, has to come back to the mm. original rotation. So, mm. I mean, this is mean that we're going to die. Although, you know, it's difficult to be survive such a disaster. We'll Nature. survive to see it because uh, your energetic body is programmed, your physical body is to survive through it, to see it. That's why you're bunching up together and you're keeping in touch and doing all these videos because those these videos help you first of all and then others because you need to know the truth and follow it and because you need to understand some people are still behind they believe in those what you call them white and black hats yes those are mm -hmm. and some people believe that some some coming alien like they call trump can save no he cannot save Besides, you know what? It's going to be a big surprise because he's not going to be a president next. It's going to be a totally different person. You will see. Hmm. At least on the on the timeline you're in now, I can see how the energy is going and she goes like this. She unfolds like a little, kind of like a square map of energy. And she, she got all kind of like a spider web with arrows showing. It's just, it's just energy vibration. That's how I see you people. When I look at you, I see you in this. She said, I, Oksana, see you in this electric energy. It's blue. It's blue and a little bit purple because you're water. You're water and you're shooting water. And you're washing off other people with your water. You're cleansing them. And Ephesia is more earth and flowers and trees. She loves the uh, smell of the ground, of the, the air filled with smell of flowers. She loves all of it. She loves the sun. She loves the water too. 
but she's primarily this like Earth Keeper. Earth Keeper in the original Earth self, because there are also you and you exist in the original Earth self, which is the Earth that was a replica of Mars. And it was replicated, but it was totally biological. And why you're connected with your heart to Mars, because those who live there, they feel like they need to live there. But your home is destroyed and you needed to relocate. That's why in your life, Oksana, you'll be always looking for some home in, in some this place or the other, and you will never find it. The same thing with Ephesia. She feels it. And she would she would like to travel for this reason because she wants to find her vibrational frequency. She would resonate with hundred percent because so far she hasn't really resonated with any area she lived in hundred percent. She knows it in her heart. That's why she wants connect. She wants to connect with more animals, f flora and fauna, and surround herself with beautiful huge leaves and flowers and animals and birds and all this because she would feel better in it because that's how mars was mm -hmm. is it the water that we have in this planet it comes from mars it's a different water okay. mars is a different water it's different chemical solution mm -hmm. it was different so it was more like thicker because the water is memory uh, is apparently uh, they says that we shouldn't drink uh, from bottles that they stay inside for like uh, three months because they, apparently they call uh, that that uh, that water okay so we have to drink uh, running water that has the same uh, uh, you know properties of like a a source a lake uh, that is alive that uh, the molecules are alive and they basically are messages. This is true, especially to Dolores, that she 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 worked a lot with water, with memory. Uh, she even says one day we're going to survive just with juices. We don't need to eat animals or any sort of vegetables. Right, like on Mars, it's just the uh, juice from the flowers. That's all you eat. Um. She said, you know, that you can just uh, charge your own water with your own memories from your own energy body that is connected to you. You're mm -hmm. basically like that sand clock. The upper you is here, it's invisible. The And that invisible you projects the visible you. Mm -hmm. And that's when the, the body falls off. It's like a shell of a knot opens up and falls off of you. And your invisible you sucks your your other invisible you in and you become bigger in a way so for you to understand how it happens mm -hmm. unless on the way of your invisible energetic you sucking your other part because the your physical body finally fell off and um, there is uh, entities trying to lure you into some other ways as she said there's like basically swirly ways much like tunnels or projections of different realities around you. If you don't pay attention to this and just look at your own self with eyes to eyes in a way, but it's basically soul to soul because your souls are kind of like all basically all your energy you can call a soul. Every single beat of it is your soul. So if you like feel the feel of you and connect quickly, nobody will distract you or grab you. Mm -hmm. Because it's important to have all parts of you. It is important. They would like to chop you in multiple, multiple little pieces and send you to different realities because they know it's going to take for you a lot of activation and thinking to do for your soul and collecting, you know, information to reconnect again. And in this time period, the loop of time, they can use you. That's why they do it. Mm -hmm. So if you can keep yourself together, that, that's a good thing. So how we can, all the people like me, like you, Oksana, the people that listen to us because they resonate in us, this is because the people that apparently they are very interested uh, in all of this uh, information from our eye self or our consciousness, basically 
are the people that, that they're going to learn super fast. So what do we have to do? How to keep ourselves? Uh, meditation, uh, drinking a particular water, anything. Okay, uh, I'm just speak like a, a child, yeah, to to make understand uh, how we have to do things. To... She 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 drew like a heart on the paper. <laughs> she she like got this. She used the her hands like scissors, cut it out, and put it on it. Love myself water. You can put it on, or you know, love original earth water, right? Uh, or reconnecting to my soul water, and you can make it yours. You can you can have it a thought a. A simple thought without drawing and stuff in all this water will be changed. We are creators. We change things like this. OK, so if something carries, um, if like a piece of clothing that you took from somebody carries something in it, you put your hands and you eliminate it like this. Take it out. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. It's some sort of like ritual, but it's ritual for your physical self. You understand? You really don't have to do anything with your hands or body. You just have to think. Okay. You have to believe that this water is clean. You have to believe that it gives you energy and it makes you healthy. Even if the sign on the food says that it was this and that and that, you know, and you don't like that, uh, you know, sometimes they write some crazy stuff. And if you think that it's a wrong statement, it would not do harm to your body. That's how powerful we are. You have to understand this and believe this. You have to stop listening to all those, oh, you know, you, this is dangerous for you to eat or this is not dangerous. This is, and everybody's fighting with each other. Look at this fights here and there all the time. And this information is all different. It's on purposely to make you go cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sad. So, um, I would like to ask, uh, and um, first, as I thank, uh, I would like to say thank you to Deep All My Heart, to Dolores Kana, for what all the work she did. She was amazing. Um, first question is Is she with us again now, or she will come back? Uh, is any other people like her in this? In this world, like a community, there are, I know there are names here that they are really doing a very good job, you know, like Malanga, like this lady I saw the other she day, this scientist. Teacher. She said, okay, I'll tell you, this is funny. It's like a scientific center we have, okay? Mm -hmm. It's like a space we created with our minds where we welcome all the people who reach certain consciousness level and who also have a desire to work with somebody like-minded. Mm -hmm. So Karada Malanga is one who will be with me someday, the same way like the other great minds. Because mind doesn't go away, body does. And I just like, I, I'm just loving the earth. I thought one thing about the earth, it was wrong, but now I understand how it is going and now I'm excited to see how it's gonna, the shell of the earth, the artificial AI shell, it will fall off of it and it will reconnect to the Tiamat, to Mars, to all those beautiful planets and how people are going to be going back and forth, those who love the energies of these original places. And I am a collector of information. I am a watcher. It much like some people like to watch animals and record what they do. The same idea. Someday we'll be totally, the minute we're born, we'll know that we have a body. We have to control the body. We have emotional body, mental body. We can control those too. Someday, but not now. So she is not with us now. So she's not in this planet. Can I ask her, all these people that uh, more and more they say, oh, we've seen UFO everywhere, UFOs. Uh, and they declaring, oh, we are coming here to help you. We are here for in the name of God. Some people is even says that God are sending these aliens, that they are angels. I mean, 
they trying to create so much confusion on people because many people they give it different informations yeah so who, who yeah. have to believe in the end of the day i mean i think this planet as a personality this planet decide when she can uh, shake off all these parasites yeah monsters mm. entities yeah. uh, uh, greedy people people that like uh, to kill people okay so we don't need uh, i mean i respect the sky because we come from the sky anyway but this planet, we forget sometimes we are uh, squatters. Yeah? What do you think mm, of that? Uh, she told me that uh, the, the, the visitors, they're like the spectators in the theater, and you guys are all on stage. She said, I'm a spectator too, but I just created a different balcony observation balcony and a space above was a nice scientific center where we all exist it's just a thing that every creator does he creates a special space for himself or herself and views he, himself or herself this way or the other but in fact we're both her and him but you know what i mean they are just kind of looking inside the snow globe and you're inside the snow globe, you little people like ants, you know, your proje your physical body projections and they watch you what you do, your behaviors, your uh, way the thoughts go, how you shoot your thoughts, whether it's long distance, short distance, short wave, a long wave. It's all for them interesting. That's why they can't get close with their spaceships to the observation deck and look at you and you see them. You really do. A lot of you have connections to them uh, and those connections are not so beneficial for you. A lot of them are malevolent mm -hmm. when they use you as a conductor of certain impulses and information like antenna because they need people antennas. There is 18,000 people who are antennas for alien beings. They, a lot of them do their own shows. They're very popular in UFO community and all this alien based kind of topic communities. But in fact, a lot of them spreading alien agenda. A lot of them are connected to not so benevolent beings. So you have to be careful. But that's the point of life on earth uh, even though you're under pressure and under strict control you have to develop analytical abilities mm -hmm. by working with your brain to figure out things for yourself to create this little as we say bubble of reality around yourself and be safe in it, but also watching what's going on because it's like you're a spectator also. Once you become more conscious than others, all of a sudden you and your mind detach from them and you view them a lot of times kind of like you're watching psychiatric clinic patients. <laughs> but uh, that's what you're doing. You know, that uh, imagine you're a scientist on this planet. Don't think that you're a slave to the system because they would elevate your consciousness also. Say to yourself, you're a scientist. You're studying the AI-generated worlds. And you're stuck in one. And that's probably going to be beneficial also because next you'll never be in the one again. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I, I think that we are, uh, you know, when you, you work for a chain of restaurants, yes, and you are a manager, but you never see the big mm. boss. You never see because the, the big boss is a, and this alien for me, they are big boss that they are invisible. Yeah, they just they watch. Eye. And we are the restaurants, basically, the cities, the what we eat, what we, you know, the, the money, war, and they watch us. So. The fact that they are uh, showing themselves more and more and more, they are more this, trying because I think they are really afraid to lose all of this, all this source of, uh, 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 you know, nu yeah. nu nu nutrition that they have from us, that is the, our energy. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Many people apparently they say that they even able to suck our souls, you know, like uh, life charging bat batteries. So yes. uh, this is what the pyramids was uh, basically used to charge these pharaohs, this big boss. Apparently, many many people that they we think they de they are dead because they we they want us to believe because they was 90 years old, well, but they are still alive because they're still using this kind of. Uh, uh, you know, chargers that there was before there was a pyramids, but they use now more te uh, technologies much higher. They use a system that they don't need anymore to go to you go into to the pyramids to to be charged and to suck other people's energy. This is where many people around us they are like uh, uh, zombies, robots because they don't have any more soul. They are mm. robots. Okay, another thing, uh, uh, that is our first uh, uh, meeting with Dolores. I really would like to, to talk with her again because she's, she's amazing. gone already. That's why I kind of laughed because she yeah. said, I'm this busy, is our... honey, I have to go. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, Oksana, she's busy uh, too. We have to go now. But uh, this is our first uh, meeting with uh, Dolores, and then we're going to do another uh, meeting, uh, other questions. But she's very interesting. So, Oksana, if we here are 15.10 and you are ready for your homeschooling. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Fizia. See you next time. Thank and you. And Fizia uh, comes up with all these ideas, what we're going to you know, talk about. So, And next nice. time we're going to, you know, talk with her and somebody else as well. So, until next time, ciao, ciao. Okay, ciao.